In this example, we are going to use the metric beat module for Apache Kafka to quickly pull metrics from Kafka and visualize them on Kibana with a dashboard that will be automatically created. The first step to start the development of this example is to create a Kafka topic that will be used for testing purposes. In this example, we are going to create a Kafka topic called Metric Beat Tutorial. This Kafka topic will contain four partitions, and since the Kafka cluster running locally has only one broker, we are going to set the replication factor to only one. Now that the Kafka topic has been created, let's perform a quick test to write and read data to and from this Kafka topic. First, execute a Kafka consumer that will keep pulling the Kafka topic for new messages to arrive. Then, you are going to create a Kafka producer that will send messages to the Kafka topic so we can check whether the consumer can read those messages. When you execute the Kafka console producer, you can type in the console messages and those messages will be transformed into an array of bytes that are going to be written into the Kafka topic. As you can see here, the test has been successful because we are being able to write and read data to and from the Kafka topic. Now let's start the configuration of our metric beat to pull the metrics from this Kafka cluster. In metric beat, the first thing you need to do is to enable the Kafka module. You can do this by executing metric beat and use the option modules and specify the option enable plus which module that you are going to enable. The Apache Kafka module in metric beat is called Kafka. You can double check if the Kafka module has been enabled by checking if the suffix disable has been removed from the file that is under the modules.d folder. As you can see here, the dot disable suffix has been removed from the file, meaning that now the Kafka module is enabled. By default, the Kafka module is configured to pull metrics from your Kafka cluster every 10 seconds. However, there are no metric sets enabled, so you have to explicitly enable which metric sets are going to be collected. There are two metric sets that can be pulled directly from your Kafka cluster. Metric sets related to partitions and consumer groups. Also, you have to specify which host import your Kafka cluster can be reached. This is similar to providing the bootstrap server endpoint that we did while checking the configuration in the console. The Kafka model has been configure it to point to Kafka and pull metrics from it. Now, let's start metric beat to start collecting those metrics and writing them off into Elasticsearch. However, we need to also make sure that metric beat will create the necessary visualizations and dashboards on Kibana so we can start playing with the Kafka metrics effortlessly. To do this, just execute the metric beat executable, providing the option setup. This option will load all the visualizations and dashboard that are pre-created and come with this Kafka module out of the box. Keep in mind though that running the option setup from metric beat can take up to a minute. Once the setup command completes, we can start our metric beat
With Metric Beat up and running, we can now go to Kibana and check if the information from the Kafka cluster has been sent and we can visualize them using the dashboard. And Kibana, go to the Analytics session and click on the option Dashboard. You're going to see that there will be lots of dashboard that you can use and play with. Go to the search bar and type Kafka. You're going to see that there is a dashboard that has been made available automatically. Click on this dashboard and you are going to see some of the information already collected from the metric beat that has been written off in Elasticsearch. To make sure that this dashboard is going to look like a live, you can optionally enable the automatic refresh so you can start refreshing the dashboard every three seconds. As you can see here, much of the information that we've provided for the topic called Metric B Tutorial has been collected. In the Dropbox, you can actually select which topic from Kafka you are going to work with. And you can see information about this Kafka topic and the offsets, which represents the positions of each message within the log. Also, you are able to see all the information regarding partitions from that topic and the offset information for each partition. Now that we know that everything is working as expected, let's run a load test into Kafka to see if the information being collected by metric beat are being continuously sent to Elasticsearch and we can visualize them here on Kibana. In Kafka, you can use the performance testing tool that comes out of the box with your Kafka distribution to simulate load for both your producer and consumer. In this example here, we are going to create a performance test for a producer that's going to send 1 billion messages to the Kafka topic called Metric Beat Tutorial. Those messages are going to be broken down into sets of 1000 messages, which is going to be dictated by this parameter here called throughput. Each message will contain 1000 bytes that will basically set what's going to be the payload for each message. Also, as you can see here, each message will require one acknowledge from the leader of the partition before actually coming back to the producer saying that the message has been successfully written. In the consumer side, we are going to create a performance test that's going to continuously read messages sent to the topic metric B tutorial. This consumer is only going to stop after reading all the 1 billion messages that has been written into that topic. And we're going to use two threads to maximize the consumption throughput. Those threads are going to be put into a group called load testing. Now that the performance testing is being executed, we can go back to Kibana and check how this is affecting the dashboard that was created by metric beat. As you can see here in Kibana, a new consumer group has been detected that represents the consumer group created by the load testing. Information about consumer group lag is being continuously collected by metric beat and as you can see here on the dashboard is being shown almost in real time in intervals of 10 seconds. Also, you can see that the information regarding offsets and the Kafka topics has been updated as well. Finally, you can see in a per partition basis all the information regarding offsets for the Kafka topic.
Metric Beat has been enabled to collect information from Kafka topics, partitions, and consumer groups. If you want to collect also information and metrics regarding the Kafka brokers, you have to enable metric collection from a HTTP endpoint. By default, Kafka exposes all its internal metrics over JMX, which is a Java based technology. To enable the metrics exposure over HTTP, you can use an agent called Jolokia that is going to instrument the JVM and expose an endpoint that can be consumed by metric beat. Let's enable this Jolokia in the Kafka broker. First, you need to stop whatever client application has been written and writing into Kafka because we're going to need to actually bounce the Kafka broker. Once you stop the Kafka broker, you have to change the JVM parameters of Kafka to make sure that the JVM is going to be executed using the Jolokia agent. You can do this by exporting an environment variable called Kafka Options. As you can see here, we are simply adding the information about the usage of a Java agent and pointing to the jar file that contains the implementation of the Jolokia agent, and specifying in which port we are going to expose this endpoint. Once you export this environment variable, just execute your Kafka broker as you would do normally. Only this time, the Kafka broker will expose an endpoint that metric beat can use to pull the metrics regarding the broker. Let's now enable the metric set for the broker in metric beat. The first step is to stop metric beat if it's being executed. Then go back to the configuration file for the Kafka module. If you scroll down into that file, you're going to see that the metric set broker will show up. Just uncomment this session to enable the metric set called broker. Keep in mind though that you are now going to specify the endpoint that has been exposed by Jolokia. So this is not going to be the same endpoint that you've provided for collecting information from partitions, consumer groups, and topics. Once you have enabled this new metric set, you can restart metric beat. Once metric beat starts, it will keep for every 10 seconds pulling metrics from the Kafka endpoint and send this information to Elasticsearch. Let's check on Kibana if this information has been indeed written into Elasticsearch. In Kibana, you can use the Discover option to inspect if the documents being generated by metric beat now cares the information regarding metrics from the broker. The best way for you to do this and discover is creating a filter that's going to show only documents that belong to the metric set called broker. Use the field metric set dot name for this and check whether this field equals to the value called broker. Once the filter has been applied to your search, pick one of the documents being shown and you can inspect the document to see if the information regarding the broker has been added. As you can see here, now we have documents containing information with important metrics from the broker, such as number of messages coming in, information regarding Zookeeper, and information about network egress and ingress.